If you're an e-com brand doing any type of email marketing, you would already know that flows are a fantastic way for you guys to be making money. And every single marketer out there talks about optimization, split testing, all of this shit, right? By the end of the day, nobody actually teaches you how to do it properly. So in this video, I'm going to take it upon myself to teach you guys how to run split tests for flows with Enclavio in this little demo account. Not only am I going to show you how to build it out with Enclavio, but also more importantly, how to track it. I'll give you the template and you can get access to that super easily by just, you know, joining my school group for free, right? So if you join that, you can make a duplication of this and uh, you'll be able to get access to this sheet as well as the campaign split testing sheet as well as the pop-up one because I'm a generous motherfucker, right? More importantly though, I run an email and SMS agency. We've been going for four years. I have a shit ton of experience working with six, seven, eight and nine figure brands. And if you're in the market for email marketing, book on a call with us. We're gonna absolutely kill it for you guys. So let's dive into this. Now, first things first, the where most people go wrong with split testing is they actually start off in Klaviyo and they create the split test straight away. However, what you really need to think about is you want to look at it holistically, right? Reason being is because it allows you to identify exactly what email you should be testing and think about it from a higher level strategic perspective as opposed to on an email per email split test basis. It's also going to give you access to a easily viewable way of looking at past split test data and split test variations, right? So what I normally do is I always, you know, add the date started. So for example, today is the 27th of August, 2023, right? I add it like this sample size. This is to be added after the split test is actually completed, right? Generally speaking for most email variations, I like to have at least a 500 to 1000 sample size when it comes to split testing. The reason why there is a range is because it just depends on what metrics you're optimizing for. If it's like open rate or something like that, 500 is kind of enough to get a decent idea of like where your open rate stands. But if you're testing for something like revenue, you want to be much closer to that 1000 sample size mark, right? So sample size is to be added late at a later date and email name is basically just like the flow name itself. So for example, it could be like, you know, welcome series E1. So what that means, welcome flow email one, right? Another thing that's super, super important that's often neglected is the test variable. Again, remember the scientific method from school? Same shit, right? You want to change one thing about the email at once in order to actually determine which variable, which A or B has the effect, right? So you can test for four things when it comes to flows. You can test for delays, you can test the content, you can test for subject line, and you can test for offer, okay? So the highest leverage thing you should always be testing first is offer. Whether or not you want to include a discount is completely up to you, but offer just means like where you're driving the CTA to. Is it the product page? Is it like a bundle? Is it some sort of buy one, get X free? Is it free shipping? Whatever it is, right? Whatever you're offering, that is going to be the highest leverage thing that you could possibly test when it comes to making an impact on revenue. Now, the next thing you should be testing is the subject line, which influences open rates directly. Right. And then from there, you can test like content delays, that kind of stuff. Right now, AB variable notes is literally just what you have in variation A versus what you have in variation B. So, for example, let's say, you know, super simple, we're testing a delay, right? A delay would basically just be, you know, a delay is two hours from last email. And then B is like, you know, four hours or whatever. Right. And then after a while, you can select in a winner A or B and then draw a conclusion. It's very important that you draw a conclusion from this. Otherwise, you never learn anything from your split tests. Right. Because what we're really trying to do is build up a database of lessons that you have learned over time for your account, for your brand specifically. OK, so, for example, let's say, you know, the four hour variation one in this case, and you see a pattern of longer delays generally winning. The conclusion that you could possibly draw from, some, from, from something like this would be, for example, like, you know, my brand has a longer decision cycle, therefore longer delays tend to send the emails out in a more timely manner to the prospect, making them more likely to buy, right? So that would be a more sensible conclusion to draw. 
Another thing is, for example, if you're testing offers, let's say you're testing 10% versus 20% off, right? Obviously, 20% wins majority of the time. However, the conclusion is not always going to be you should be sticking with the 20% because you should be factoring things like your gross margin, right? Let's say your gross margin is 40%. By jumping the discount from 10 to 20%, you've slashed your profit margin in half, okay, on a gross basis. So that could easily push your ads into unprofitability. That could easily make you go scaling into the red on a per order basis, right? So the conclusion needs to be drawn because you wanna build up this bank of like facts and past data that you could utilize in the future in order to come up with better offers and better angles and better content and that kind of stuff, right? Now, how do you actually build this out within Klaviyo itself? Well, I'm just gonna use, uh, just let's say, um, uh, I'll just use one of the old flow templates I have in this um, demo account. But basically, there's kind of a couple ways you can do it. The first way I'm gonna show you is when you wanna split test time delays. So for split testing time delays, all you gotta do is just have a conditional split. And in the conditional split, you wanna configure the split to be a random sample of 50-50, right? Where you join the sample at the end, you duplicate it right here, so that both branches will be receiving the same exact email. And then in terms of time delay, you literally just configure it. Let's say you want to test one day delay versus two day, right? It's literally just as simple as this. <laughs> Boom. That's how you test time delays. Now, when it comes to actually testing content offers, subjects, and all of that good stuff, right? Here's how you do it. Let's say I want to open welcome e series email one, test, right? What I would essentially do is you would click create AB test variable. Boom. Give it a few seconds. It's going to load you up into the screen and you will be able to customize the test content however you want. So this was actually uh, <laughs> for, my, for my email course, but I thought it was kind of funny. Anyways, in terms of the test, here's how you're going to want to name it, right? You're always going to want to name the flow name and then which email it is, right? So E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, right? And then you wanna, te you wanna name the test itself. So let's say the test is uh, offer percentage, right? And then this variable is the 10% off, whereas this variable is the 20% off, right? And then from here, you wanna keep subject lines and everything the same, unless if you wanna mention the discount in the subject line, which I actually recommend. So obviously don't say 10% off for the 20% variation, right? So modify that accordingly, customize the content and you're basically good to go. Now, in terms of distribution, I don't recommend having them automatically decide distribution because what's gonna happen is people are gonna receive an uneven amount of emails. So I would recommend to keep the split 50-50, and then generally speaking, they have a uh, automatic window selection. You can kind of keep this, that's completely fine. And then you wanna add some notes about the test, which is basically just what you have over here and also the variable notes that you would have in here. Okay, so once this is done, you could literally just say publish test and it's good to go. Now, if you wanna test for subject lines, obviously just change subject lines, keep the content of the emails the same. And if you wanna test offers, obviously that's a modification on the content itself. So yeah, very straightforward right there. So once this is done, you'll be able to monitor the test results. Now there's different metrics that you should be looking at when you're testing for different things, right? So when you're testing for delay, for example, the biggest thing that you should be monitoring is either gonna be the open rate or it's gonna be the revenue generated, right? Why is that? So let's say you send an email at 7 a.m. in the morning for someone versus 10 a.m. 10 a.m. might get a better open rate unless they're like of a certain demographic, like super uh, busy working professionals and that kind of stuff, right? In which case you want to be testing for open rates. In the case of revenue, let's say you're doing a win back flow test, right? And you're split testing between, I don't know, 80 days versus 120 then obviously the winning metric right there should be revenue rather than open rates, right? Because the difference between day 80 and day 120 is gonna be the difference between if someone needs your product at that time or if someone don't need your product at that time. So it's very important that you understand exactly which metrics are gonna be the winners for you guys for this test that you guys are doing. 
And make sure you guys are tracking this. And if you want this sheet of how my agency does it, literally just join the school group. You can duplicate this and have a play around with it yourself. And if you're a seven figure brand, eight figures as well, hit me up, book a call. I'd love to run your emails. We're gonna absolutely fucking crush it for you. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. See ya.